Hello friends and family and good morning from Universal Studios Florida. I thought it'd be fun to come out today to Universal Studios side and check out the huge selection of Universal merchandise that they have. There are lots of awesome rides and attractions here that have little gift shops as soon as you get off them. They have the main Universal Studios store and some really incredible shops along the way. So I do want to check out everything. But before we get started, if you would subscribe and click the bell notification so you're aware of future uploads and live streams. We would greatly appreciate it. It's always nice being here at Universal Studios City Walk. Like you can see the little boats that actually bring you from the resorts here to City Walk, which is completely complimentary with your stay at Universal. Okay, so that being said, we are here for early park admission, so I do want to go ahead and get in line to head inside Universal Studios, but I want to check out even like the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. There's some amazing stores in there as well. It's definitely always best to get here at the parks as soon as they open. It actually doesn't look too busy this morning. Everybody's running to the rise, but we're going to do some shopping today. Something a little bit different at Universal Studios. As soon as you come into the park, it's always the conundrum which direction you go, especially if you're going to do some shopping. Here's the main Universal Studio store on your left. Of course, you do have the new Minions Land right ahead. And they have an awesome gift shop that I do want to show you some of the merchandise in there as well. And then right to the right hand side is the Hollywood section, a very quiet section in uh, Universal Studios. Not too many rides in the morning, so you're not going to experience too many people. That being said, I think I do want to head over to the Hello Kitty store. They have some really unique merchandise over there and lots of really cool different things. And then the back section of the store, there's even more merchandise that's not Hello Kitty. A fun little fact about the Hello Kitty store, you can always do a little meet and greet. You can check the Universal Studios app. Normally Hello Kitty's over here in this direction and they do have a little fun photo op before you do even enter the store. This is always here. You have Hello Kitty, her a little facsimile signature in the cement with a bow just really neat okay so as soon as you come inside the hello kitty store they have this really nice velour um, long sleeve button down look at all the different rhinestones there with hello kitty's pink bow $52 for these they do have a hood though which is really nice then over here are some hello kitty oh look at this oh hello <laughs> how you doing good thank you having fun today excited for a universal day <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> Oh, bye bye. <laughs> they do also have a great selection of like uh, scenario lounge fly bags. These are great quality. Like, look at this. How cool is that with the Ferris wheel? All of the characters go on the front side and the back side. These are $85 a piece. And then right next door is yet another Hello Kitty uh, lounge fly bag. Look at the uh, metal attachments here. Her bow is embroidered there on the top. $79. And there's even a bunch of uh, little lounge fly wallets. Like this one is like a Hello Kitty one with some butter and it's a waffle and look at the whole strawberry and whole design here on the back side these are $55 a piece then right over here this one actually matches that purse that we just saw for $55 Tucked away over here in this corner is a really awesome ceramic coffee mug, a very good size. It says Universal Studios on the inside with her little bow there. These are $25 a piece. Then right up ahead is a uh, long sleeve sweatshirt. I like her metallic bow that she has. These are as soft as silk though, $37. Of course, they do have a good assortment of different plushies, but I always love to check out some of the Chucky merchandise because they have specific items, kind of like a collaboration with Hello Kitty and Chucky. They'll have Jaws, E.T. And here's a really cool bag. Like, look at the little attachment plushie that you get. These are $60 a piece. Right underneath there, they do have this little wallet with Hello Kitty. It says she wants you for a best friend. And then Hello Kitty Chucky, $35 for that. Over here is a really nice new pin. I don't think I've seen this before. But these are $18. But they do also have the uh, Chucky version of the pillows. Right underneath there is a ringer tee with that same design as 
the pins and how about the uh, lounge fly I shouldn't say lounge fly how about the spirit jersey that they have this is a denim material then on the back side it says hello kitty Chucky in the back section is some really cool prints that they have again this is hello kitty with ET it says the extraterrestrial I do want to check the price these are $16.95 right up ahead they have hello kitty in Jaws she's like swimming above the shark that actually has hello kitty's bow like that is really creative and they do have a bunch of assorted coasters down here again with hello kitty with ET $5.95 for these only but they have back to the future Jurassic Park and then Jaws here's a really nice graphic t-shirt as well with ET and then hello kitty look at them there touching fingers it says the extraterrestrial these are $33 a piece but you can even purchase like some of your ET souvenirs like these really nice snow globes with that classic scene on the inside for $47 then you can even purchase a green planet, planet uh, scented candle just like the ride here at Universal Studios for $20 It's really cool though because like the back side of the store like I was saying you're gonna find a bunch of different items like they do have some Simpsons merchandise some Wizarding World of Harry Potter items how about this uh, lounge fly bag that they have this is $82 it has a bunch of stars on the side Hedwig with the uh, letter there that is so cool then over here like this is actually like the entrance way into Diagon Alley this purse is so neat the back side has your Harry Potter lounge fly with some clouds embroidered on the front but you can see like like Gringotts Bank, Weasley Wizard Wheezes, $82 for that. And then right underneath is a set of cool plushies. These are little tiny ones with Pidgewidgeon. And then you have Hedwig, two plushies for $35. One section over has even more Wizarding World of Harry Potter items. This is the uh, Gryffindor fanny pack with that quilted pattern, but everything is embroidered on here. Like these are really nice quality. These are uh, Danielle Nicole's, so that's a really good one. And they do have all four houses in these larger size backpacks. These are perfect for the parks though. Like these are super duper soft. Has a patch there for Slytherin. Let's see if we can find the old price of Rooney on these guys. So $49.95, but over here is your Gryffindor. They do also have Ravenclaw. And then, of course, Hufflepuff. And you could even purchase some really adorable Wizarding World of Harry Potter plushies inside of this store for $25. Let's check out a few of the other offerings that they have here. Here's a lounge fly of the Ghostbusters with that classic design on the front. And check out the slime here on the backside. And it does glow in the dark. These are $85 a piece. They're right underneath there is a cool crossbody with that same design again for $79.99. Let's actually see what's going on here in the backside though because they do have a bunch of assorted Marvel items. They have some plushies here of Loki, $17. I like the uh, gold, that looks really cool. Underneath there you have Black Panther for $17. Rocket Raccoon's hanging out down there. Let's see what we got here though. They have so many assorted um, lounge fly bags on this back wall. Marvel Studios Thor Love and Thunder. That's really cool though. Like these are perfect. You could even wear these to the Disney parks of course. Again with the gold accents of Loki. These are Marvel Studios The Infinity Saga. $85. That's the great thing about the Hello Kitty store. Don't ever just walk past it assuming it's just all Hello Kitty merchandise. You could head further back. You have some Simpsons stuff, some Wizarding World of Harry Potter, and we got to meet Hello Kitty on the inside. Let's continue on our way though and see what else we can find. Okay, holy cow, look at this. There is yet another character meet and greet outside the Hello Kitty store. We have uh, Shaggy and Scooby-Doo out there doing a meet and greet. Oh, and Velma. Okay, so we got lots of characters. And of course, you could always take your picture over here at the Mystery Machine, one of the cool photo ops here at Universal Studios. But I do want to head over to the Five and Dime and see what type of merchandise they do have over there. If you're looking for some really cool, like, classic monsters merchandise, this is definitely going to be your store. Like, over here, look at this. They have some awesome lounge fly bags from uh, Gremlins. Look at them with the little 3D glasses. This is a Funko Pop one. $85 for that. And they do have the matching lounge fly wallet to this. It says Funko Pop lounge fly on the opposite side. And how about the graphic t-shirt right underneath of Gizmo? Actually, it looks like that's on sale for $17.99. So they are running some deals here. 
here at Universal Studios. Chucky's getting lots of loving though. They have like some vintage action figures for child's play. These are $25. And then right underneath you do have like the uh, graphic t-shirt. It says wanna play at the bottom for $30. You're always gonna find some really unique merchandise like this uh, rubber ducky of Chucky that they have. How cool is this? I love this actually. It comes in like a little faux bathtub. These are $22 a piece. And then right over here they have some really cool like retro Universal Classic Monsters t-shirt. The creature from the Black Lagoon, and then they do have Dracula. All the sizes here at Universal Studios do go up to a 3X, which is really nice. I wanna see if we can find the price tag on these guys. So I'm not seeing the price, but that's a cool graphic T-shirt. And then over here, they do have like your classic old school tin lunch boxes. These are $24. There's two different designs on either side though. You have the creature from the Black Lagoon, and then over here is the mummy. They even have an entire section dedicated to Frankenstein and the Bride of Frankenstein. This is a nice tapestry um, throw blanket with a huge graphic there. It says the original horror show. And then right up ahead, they do have an adult-sized trucker hat, again with Frankenstein's monster. The graphics on the front, and it says Frankenstein on the opposite side. Those are $30. Then here's a really cool, like retro style pullover hoodie. It's embroidered Frankenstein, and you do have two pockets, just like a normal hoodie does. Let's see the old price tag on that. These are $85, and underneath there is a really cool um, jacket. This one's a full button down, but it's embroidered Frankenstein. The pinstriping looks really cool though. These are $125, and look at this on the back side. It's like your Letterman football jacket. You will make me feel alive, and then his hand's coming out the bottom. Just like the Hello Kitty store, there's lots of really cool plushies over here, like the Bride of Frankenstein. These are all $17 a piece. You have Frankenstein's monster. They do have Dracula, Wolfman, the mummy, and the creature from the Black Lagoon. That's a good deal, though, because those are a really good size plushie. And they do have a bunch of adult size baseball caps. These look like they're all about $28 a piece with the mummy, the Bride of Frankenstein, Children of the Night, and the Wolfman. Some of my favorite hats, though, are always the uh, trucker hats. You have the creature from the Black Lagoon and some really cool like retro style horror posters with uh, Universal Picture Frankenstein, the Bride of Frankenstein, and then right up ahead is the mummy. The great thing about this store, though, like I was saying, it's lots of Universal Studios classic monsters, and they do have some really awesome photo ops there with the mummy, the Bride of Frankenstein, and how crazy cool is the Dracula photo op right there. I love this. He looks incredible. And actually, if you go to the horror makeup show, this is actually where you come through and exit, so you do come right into this building. You could even purchase some of your more rare collectibles inside of this store as well, especially if you're looking for the Universal classic monsters how crazy cool is this Dracula statue? It's $1,100, but it is absolutely massive. Over in the opposite side of the case, you have Scars of Dracula, another really cool statue. And how about this medallion set that they have? A $320. It's limited to 750 pieces. It's an exact uh, replica, limited edition prop from Dracula. They even have a whole section dedicated to Universal Studios annual pass holders with a UOP pass holder spirit jersey. These are 70 five dollars a piece look at the back side it reminds me of like the disney eats collection you got some churros some ice cream some pizza and then a pretzel and then over here is a half sip windbreaker with that same design it comes with the hood and then a really nice pouch at the bottom these are 55 dollars but it looks like they do have a ton of merchandise for annual pass holders, like a bunch of assorted lanyards as well. You got three different designs. Then over here, you can even purchase your lanyard pouches to put your park ticket in. $8 a piece for them. And here's a really cool uh, Universal annual pass holder pin. The pins here at Universal Studios are always a bit cheaper than Disney's. $11. And then over here is a really fun Christmas ornament. I like how everything rotates in different directions for $24. Dollars. That being said, let's head a little bit further into the park to one of my favorite attractions, Transformers The Ride 3D. They do have an entire gift shop as soon as you get off the ride. It is perfect for any fan of Transformers. 
Okay, so as soon as you come inside, they do have some bumblebee zippers. These are $20 a piece. The first fill is free. They actually are absolutely massive. It's like Bumblebee's huge helmet. And then right up ahead, they have some Shadow Pulse pistols, also with a Bumblebee, but really neat because they have lots of Universal Studios exclusive products, like this blaster for $19.95. Even some of your plushies like you're gonna find in basically all of the stores here. Like over there is Bumblebee, but these are $17 a piece. You even have a great selection of uh, t-shirts. This one here is adult size with the Decepticons. Like you can see the inner workings on the inside. These are $30. Then over here is like your classic t-shirt with the rhinestones. Again with the Decepticons. It says Universal Studios Florida. These are $37, but that is super duper soft. But they also have the matching adult size baseball caps. And you definitely can't go wrong with the awesome coffee mugs. The attention to detail on um, some of the mugs here at Universal Studios is second to none. These are $27 a piece, but they do have Bumblebee. And then right down here, let's see what we got doing. Oh, how cool is that? I love this. This one is absolutely massive. And they do say Universal Studios on the inside. Even a bunch of really nice graphic t-shirts for the kiddos. This is like your classic Under Armour, no sweat material of Bumblebee. One of my favorites from Transformers. $33 for them. And then over over here is a full zip hoodie, of course, of Optimus Prime. You can see him all embroidered on the front. And the uh, hood of this is actually the mask there, like Optimus Prime. These are $57. And here's another brand new pullover hoodie. I haven't seen this one before, a Bumblebee. It says 1984. These are $45 a piece. And they do have a very good selection of assorted action figures. Like these are the uh, reaction ones. Very old school. These are $25 a piece. You can see a bunch of the different characters on the back from Bumblebee, Jazz, Optimus Prime, Megatron, and a bunch of assorted characters. Some of my favorite items at Universal Studios are always the pins and the keychains. Really cool ones like here is Bumblebee. These guys are only $10 a piece and they do come with a little extra clippy. Right next door you have Optimus Prime. Like these are absolutely massive. And over here are some of the uh, metal versions that they do have. Optimus Prime. Let's see here. $12 for the metal ones. And then this is an actual spinny rack. So let's spin this guy over. So you can even get some of your regu regular Universal Studios merchandise. Like your classic Universal pin with the globe and the stars. $12 a piece for them. And this one is like the uh, retro signage for Universal Studios Florida. Only $8. That's the great thing about getting here to Universal Studios Florida, like when the park opens. The meet and greets are plentiful, like we've already seen Hello Kitty, we've seen Bumblebee, and also some of the characters like Scooby-Doo and Shaggy. I did also want to mention, currently Transformers The Ride 3D in Early Park is only a five minute wait. That is such a great posted wait time for that attraction. But one of the lesser known stores here at Universal Studios is the Film Vault Collection. They have motion picture memorabilia. I do want to go over there and check out some of the offerings. Before you even go inside the store, they have this really awesome pullover hoodie with the red, white, and blue. It's Jaws. Since 1975, you have the shark fin on the top. These are $65 a piece. Let's head inside though and see what we can find. So it looks like there's even more of that Ghostbusters merchandise, but you're going to find some really cool things. Like over here, they have a bunch of different statues and things going on. This is the light up Kong battle axe, $1,695. This thing is absolutely massive though. Some signage here for the hoverboard for Back to the Future. That's really unique. And then over here is like a, a classic graphic t-shirt. California out of time, Back to the Future. $27 for them. Lots of different lounge flies and assorted things. Like the uh, clock tower. This actually moves left to right. You have the DeLorean at the bottom. Let's see what we got with the price though. These are $82. That glows in the dark. And then from Back to the Future 3, they do have the DeLorean as well. And this one lights up. Really cool. It's a nice big die cast vehicle. These guys are $45 each. And then right over here is probably my favorite graphic. Back to the Future t-shirt. Just says Back to the Future with the DeLorean for $25. The next section over is a lot of really cool Jaws memorabilia and merchandise. And this is a nice size uh, short sleeve button down shirt. I love the different graphics on here. This is awesome. $75 for a piece for that. But that is as soft as silk. And then right next door is the adult size trucker hats. Again with Jaws. You can see like some blood there. The shark. 
These are $26. Then underneath there is a really cool coffee mug. Look at that, it says Jaws on the side. Look at his toothers there on the front, $25 a piece. And they do have some Shark Tours coffee mugs from Jaws as well. It says Amity Island, an adventure of a lifetime. And then the same designs on the back side. These are only $15. Here's some of the cooler memorabilia pieces that they do have from Back to the Future. They have Christopher Lloyd signed 8x10. This does come all matted with the certificate of authenticity for $500. And then over here is an actual hoverboard. This is incredible. $1,500 for that. But that is like a piece of history signed there and then underneath there is a couple items that they also have from Jurassic World so you don't have to be over in the other park Islands of Adventure to get some really cool merchandise these coffee mugs are $27 then here's a nice um, adult size baseball cap it's embroidered Universal Studios with the Jurassic Park logo they even have an entire section dedicated to the office in the backside this is Dunder Mifflin Paper Company a nice little wooden wall sign these are let's see here $18 they have an abundance of of them and here's a cool graphic t-shirt it says Michael Scott Dwight Schrute Jim Halper and Pam Beasley with the office on the bottom March 24th 2005 a nice graphic t-shirt for 25 bucks and then over here is a nice long sleeve shirt it says employee of the month Scranton branch on the front and uh, Dunder Mifflin paper company going down the side these are $30 it looks like they even have some drinkware in this back section. Again, for Dunder Mifflin and the office. A good deal at only $17, but there's a bunch of assorted like framed prints and different artwork here in the back side. Look at this one from The Godfather Part Two. Underneath there we have Thanos. That one's really awesome. And then we have uh, Thor. Even more collectibles here. In this case, you have E.T. and Elliot statue on the bike, just like on the attraction and from the movie. Those are $450 a piece. Then right underneath, they have a bunch of the uh, Ghostbusters action figures. They come with the uh, proton packs and everything you need inside. These are $42 each, but they have uh, Spengler, they have Barrett, uh, Zedmore. It looks like they do have a bunch of different characters there, but you can even purchase a bunch of assorted, like unsigned prints, like from America. American Pie, Jurassic Park, and all sorts of classic Universal Studios movies like Scarface, and then Jaws at the bottom. I would definitely say the Film Vault is one of those lesser known stores here at Universal Studios, but if you're into really cool like props, signed memorabilia, and they have merchandise as well from over in the other park, where well, you don't need that park to park ticket, definitely check out the Film Vault. I know Christmas has passed us already, but they do have a year-round Christmas store located here at Universal Studios Florida. It's the Park Plaza Holiday Shop. An amazing photo op with some nutcrackers. I think I do want to head inside though and see what we can find. Okay, so they have a lot of that cool Earl the Squirrel merchandise and it's on sale. Here's a cinch backpack. It says Mary and Nutty with Earl the Squirrel Universal Studios. These are originally $30, now only $10 a piece. And here's the flip and sip water bottle. This is really neat though. It comes with a little strap there on the side. Looks like a bunch of like a four trucks and campers. These are $40 a piece. And then right underneath there is the Earl the Squirrel uh, camping mugs. These are $9.99 on sale. They even have last year's Merry and Nutty really sparkly spirit jerseys going strong with all of the uh, sparkles and snowflakes. I do want to see if we can find the price here. Those are $75, but this entire store is incredible. This entire section dedicated to like Hedwig and Platform 9 and 3 quarters. Check out some of these ornaments here. The acceptance letters they have. They have the um, tickets here to Hogwarts to London, $14.95. The acceptance letters are really nice quality though. It's it's actually like a solid wood. A bunch of assorted Hedwig Christmas ornaments like this taller one for $25. Let's come over here to the other section though. They do have all four houses with the uh, Christmas stockings. These are a nice knitted material, $35 a piece for them. But the Wizarding World of Harry Potter ornaments are seriously second to none. Like here is the sorting hat ornament, $25. And you could even purchase like a huge luggage Christmas ornament that does open up. It has the Hogwarts house crest. 
These are $28. One of my favorites though of recent times is definitely the Marauders Map Christmas ornaments. These are very heavy and then they do open up. It has a little button on the back side where you can see like the footprints just like on the Marauders Map and these do close. I love that the theme parks, both Disney and Universal Studios have year-round Christmas stores. Like I'm a huge fan of Christmas. Definitely my favorite holiday and it's just nice to see them like represented all year round here at the theme parks. It's definitely no secret. My favorite section probably in any theme park has to be the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, especially at Universal Studios Florida. It's Diagon Alley. They have King's Cross Station which does take you park to park with the Hogwarts Express. You do need a park to park ticket. It's very memorable though. You absolutely have to do it. But before you even go inside of Diagon Alley, they do have this little cart and I want to check out some of the merchandise that they have over there. So this section here inside this little car, you can get your Grimald Place uh, merchandise. This is your three quarters length sleeve t-shirts, $40 a piece for them, but that is really soft. And they do have a pullover sweatshirt, again, with that same logo, but the quality of materials that they use are really nice. That is $62. They do also have some scarves for $40, a great assortment of a different pins here for the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. You have Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff, $9 a piece, like that is a a great deal. Then over here you actually have like the Slytherin snake, you have uh, Gryffindor, the <laughs> Hufflepuff badger. These guys are like a 3D effect for $12 and it's perfect. You're literally right next door to the night bus. Like you can get the night bus graphic t-shirts. These are $29.95. Then the back side here says all destinations, nothing underwater. And then right next door they also have the uh, pullover hoodies again with the night bus insignia. These are $65. But a newer item that I don't think I've seen before is this little purse of the night bus. This again is a Harry Potter Danielle Nicole bag for $79. And I just love that. You can purchase your night bus merchandise at that cart literally right outside the night bus. You can talk to the shrunken head and the driver. <laughs> Welcome to Diagon Alley. And again, as soon as you come inside, it takes your breath away. You got the Gringotts Bank, you have Ollivanders, Madame Malkins. I do want to check out some of the world-class shopping here at the Wizarding World. Let's head on over to Weasley Wizard Wheezes and then Quality Quidditch Supply. Of course, being quality Quidditch, you can purchase your really nice quality, very heavy sweaters. These are $110 a piece. This is the Gryffindor version. Then underneath there is some more Quidditch gear. They have the uh, Gryffindor Keeper with the lion on the side. Very nice attention to detail. It says Quidditch on the back side. These are $27, but they do have, of course, all four houses. Right next door is your Slytherin sweater, $110. Then right up ahead is a really nice crossbody bag for the parks. You have the snake for Slytherin. This has a very nice feel to it though, like really good quality. These are $45. Even some assorted uh, stainless steel drinkware that they have. Again, all four houses. This is the Slytherin Quidditch version. Very, very shiny though. It says Slytherin on the opposite side. These are $27. You can even purchase some like desktop replica brooms here at the Wizarding World. This is the Nimbus 2001. It comes with the broom and then the collector's base. These are $65 a piece. Right up ahead you have the Firebolt. But all three offerings that they do have are $65. They even have some Wizarding World of Harry Potter beanies. Definitely getting a little bit warmer now in Central Florida. I know it's crazy saying that. Like we're still in the winter months. But here is your Hufflepuff version. It's embroidered on the front there. These are $30. Here's another really fun t-shirt. It says Quidditch established 1269 with the Hogwarts house crest. Team captains on the other side. But this is like your Under Armour no sweat material. These are $37 a piece. Then right over here is a really good sized tote bag. This is perfect. I should say it's a duffel bag with all of your house colors. Hogwarts Quidditch team captain. $70 a piece. These are really fun for your travels. And then over here is another like v-neck team captain shirt with all the house colors and then you do also have the house crest on the front. $40 for that one. Even some fun jewelry that they have for the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. They have two different offerings of the Golden Snitch. These actually have like the movable wings. Let's see, it comes with a little pouch, $25 for that. And they do have like a smaller, like more daintier version with the Golden Snitch. This one comes with the 20 inch necklace, $25. They also have all four houses in these Gryffindor Quidditch Team Captain t-shirts. This is your Gryffindor though, $12.69. Look at that, $37. 
hours. It's crazy to think, established 1269. They do have the matching water bottles. These are clear ones. It comes with a little clippy on the top so you can put this like on your backpack. G for Gryffindor, $22 a piece for the clear water bottles. Here's some of the other houses they have with the uh, Quidditch team captain t-shirts. They have Slytherin. Right down here is your Ravenclaw version. And of course, last but not least, we do have Hufflepuff, established 1269. But in each little section, they do have a couple different offerings, like these uh, Hufflepuff keychains with the badger. You have like doling broomsticks, $19. A couple different pins that they have, Hogwarts, um, Quidditch captain, $9 a piece for them. And they do have these really fun patches, like these are perfect for the backpacks. Really nice quality for $13. And like being inside these stores, the great thing, like straight ahead is Weasley, Wizard Wheezes. They're all kind of interconnected. And then across the way is Sugar Plums. Let's check out some of the merchandise here inside of Weasley, Wizard Wheezes. And how about the Love Potion Danielle Nicole bags? These are $92 a piece, but that is awesome. And they do also have the little uh, Love Potions here. These are artificial sweeteners. And it says Love Potion on the opposite side with a little tassel. $12 a piece for them. And underneath there, they have a great assortment of pygmy puffs. You could squeeze them and you could actually hear them making noises. These are so adorable. $20 a piece for the smaller versions. But again, they have a bunch of different colors. Let's see what we have going up here by the register though. They have some Chinese fortune sticks. You get uh, 78 wooden st uh, sticks. The packaging is always incredible. $14.95 for them. Up here are the exploding snaps. This is like uh, wizarding playing cards. You get the whole deck for $17. And don't forget to look up here, especially at Weasley Wizard Weezes. You can actually see Dolores Umbridge over there. Here's a really fun graphic t-shirt for uh, Weasley Wizard Wheezes. It's a nice tie-dye pattern with a huge graphic on the front. These are adult size. It has a V-neck on the uh, neckline, $37. Underneath, they have a couple assorted Pygmy Puff keychains that you can purchase here at the Wizarding World. Those are $15, but really, really nice. And they even have some uh, postcard packs here. This is the Diagon Alley version. Looks like you get 10 assorted postcards. These are $12.95, but it shows you all the different, like, sights and sounds there of Diagon Alley. That one's neat. And they do have another version. This one here has uh, postcards from Weasley Wizard Wheezes for $20, but you actually get a couple more than the other one. You can even purchase some of your Noble Collection Harry Potter wands. This is the Weasley Wand Collection. It comes with both uh, Weasley Brother wands and then your twins, I should say, and it comes with the collector's base, $120 for that. And here is the little collector's robot that they have for the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. The packaging is awesome though, $32 a piece. And they do have a whole section here with um, Pick Me Puff merchandise. Here's a very fun robe. Again, it's all embroidered on the front. This thing is so fuzzy though. I do want to see if we can find the price. $75. And how about the ginormous Pick Me Puffs here? So you can get them in all forms, like large ones, keychain ones. Over here are the slipper versions. And then the ones that make noises are a little bit smaller. And they do have some really cool prints here. The uh, Skiving Snack Box. And then right underneath there, look at that with the elephants, you have some dung bombs. always so much fun being over at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, especially Diagon Alley. Incredible theming, world-class shopping, it's a must-do. Let's head on over to the new Minions section and see what we can find over there. The new Minions section is filled with so many fun things, like you can get pop banana, you can get your banana flavored popcorn here in the Minions section. They do have the brand new like a Minion Cafe. Lots of assorted like different food offerings that you're gonna get there. The uh, little uh, popsicle stand is incredible, especially on a hot Florida day. Again, the theming just like the Wizarding World. Like how cool is the Bank of Evil signage? I do want to come over here to the new Minion Villain Con attraction because it's a brand new gift shop, but here's the Freeze Ray Pops like I was saying. Very, very delicious.
So the Mil Minions Villain Con gift store is another one of those attractions that has the gift shop located at the exit to the ride. But there's some really cool photo ops and some really awesome merchandise that they have in here. So as soon as you come inside, it's this really fun tank top. Look at that. It says Tough Chick. I love that. $37. Then right over here, how about the security t-shirt that they have? Some really fun graphic t-shirts. $27. You have the uh, Vicious Six. These are the kids' graphic t-shirts. Those are $30 a piece. But you can get some cool um, drinkware here as well. And I like the, like, the metallic finish with all the villains there. Part of Villain Con. Those are $19. And they do also have the coffee mugs. This is what I was saying, though. The photo ops, especially here in the Minion store, is truly incredible. Like, look at this guy here. Then right next door, you have some of the Minions posing as uh, the, uh, the villains there on the Villain Con attraction, which is really creative. And how about this orb looking thing up top? Here's a really fun long sleeve tie-dye shirt. It says, have a bad day. <laughs> that is so neat. $40 for them. And then like the matching lounge fly is right next door. Like look at the fuzzy hair. A very nice simulated leather. It says Universal Studios lounge fly. Let's see if we can find the price of Rooney on these guys. They are $90 a piece. And then right here at the bottom, they do also have the matching lounge fly wallet. It says Universal Studios and then lounge fly. Here's some merchandise dedicated just to the villain con attraction another universal studios lounge fly bag a nice circular zipper compartment on the front but inside the little circle patterns are all of the assorted villains these are 82 dollars a piece and then right over here is the villain con international matte black finished coffee mugs just like the attraction on the outside 15 dollars for that and they do have the macho um, tank tops here again with the uh, villain and a nice little starburst pattern these are 30 dollars Here's a really fun throw blanket for the couch again with the minions and then all of the assorted villains. These are $33 a piece, but these have like a checkerboard pattern on the opposite side. Very, very soft. And an adult size uh, minions backpack that they have. It says Villain Con, warning, you got some banana peels. The uh, top logo is embroidered and it has this checkered pattern on the back side. $50 a piece for them. And then right underneath is a tin wall sign. It just says Villain Con International. Let's see what we got doing. $22 for the wall signs. Then over here are some adult size merchandise that they have. This is a long sleeve. It's like your Under Armour no sweat material. It says Villain Con. You have that checkerboard design on the sleeves. And then Villain Con International. The long sleeve shirt's $37. Then over here is the uh, short sleeve shirt with your V logo and then all the minions. These guys here are $37. They even have a little spinny rack with some assorted pins and different keychains for Villain Con International. That one is $9. Then they have this one that actually matches that t-shirt that we just saw. You can't go wrong though. Some of the pins, $9 a piece. Like that is a great deal. Underneath there are some of the assorted uh, metal keychains that they have for Villain Con. Right outside of the gift shop, over here at Illumination, you can even meet some of your favorite Minions villain characters. See, they're not so bad after all. They're here doing a meet and greet at the red carpet at Universal Studios. And last but not least, we have the main Universal Studios store here at Universal Studios Florida. It is literally as soon as you enter the theme park on your left hand side, you're going to get all of your like Simpsons merchandise, E.T., Jaws, Wizarding World of Harry Potter. This is definitely your catch all store. They do have a little bit of everything. Right outside though, they have some lanyards. These are $13 and up. This one is your classic Universal Studios one, Back to the Future. You have uh, Jaws on there, all of the attractions. I love that. They have some from over in Seuss Landing as well. So again, you don't have to go to all of the theme parks. I should say both of the theme parks to find some of your merchandise. Here's your Jurassic World one. They have the Mummy and Kong Skull Island. That one's really neat. And speaking of Jurassic Park, they do still have some of that 30th anniversary merchandise. I love this graphic t-shirt. That's $40. Again, that's adult size. Then over here is like the entranceway into Jurassic Park. It's West Welcome and then Grand Open.
opening, June 1993. That just feels like so long ago. A crazy cool item. And then over here is a Jurassic World coffee mug. I like how it has this cracked pattern and that logo is on both sides. These are $17. Here's your classic Jurassic Park ringer tee. It says Universal Studios at the bottom. $33 for them. And they do have like a women's cut t-shirt here with that same design. This one's not a ringer tee, but it still says Universal Studios. That's $33. And they do have these tin like retro lunch boxes like we saw a little bit earlier in the video with your Jurassic Park logo. The like the hazard material. These guys are $24. And one of my favorite attractions over at Islands of Adventure, they do have the little wooden uh, model sets that you can put together of uh, Velocicoaster. This is actually very, very big. A really cool offering comes in this fancy wooden box. That's $200. And they do have a smaller snap together version right here where it's just like one ride vehicle, but it's in a smaller packaging. But that was all of your Jurassic Park merchandise that they do have all sectioned off. In the back section, they have an entire spot just for the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. You can purchase your wands, a bunch of assorted plushies with all of the houses wearing their house scarves, which is really creative. I do want to go to the back section though because they do have some noble collection items that are really cool. But you can even get some personalization available on your apparel. You just gotta ask the shopkeeper for details. Here's some of your noble item collection items that you can get. I should say noble collection items that you can get here. They have Arena Ravenclaw's Diadem, $165. It comes in the fancy packaging. You can purchase the Hogshead Pitcher really cool from over in Hogsmeade. That's $95. It's glass and it actually works. They have Luna Lovegood's Time Turner. Again, that comes in the fancy wooden box. $50 for those. But they even have some cool like wand displays. Like this is awesome. It comes with Harry's, Hermione, Ron Weasley, Ginny, Neville Longbot, and then Luna Lovegood. It comes with a scroll to put them on. $295. And they even have all characters there. It comes in that fancy wooden box. Uh, Harry Potter Cedric Diggory, Floor Delacour, and Victor Crumb. This is the uh, Tri-Wizard Cup set, $195. Also, if you're just looking for your Universal Studios branded items, they definitely have you covered. Here's a hooded windbreaker. This is that retro design. It says Universal Studios on the front. This is a full zip with the hood, $65 for that. Then over here is the adult size full zip hoodie with your classic pinstriping going down the side, Universal Studios. These are $60, but it's a nice soft like terry cloth material. Then they do have this uh, tumbler with all of your classic attractions from Jaws, E.T., Back to the Future. These are $29.99, and you actually got a drink all day. And here's some new merchandise that was just recently released. I love the two different colored sleeves that you get, and just your Universal Studios patch on the front. It's a mustard color, $37 for those graphic t-shirts, and a bunch of assorted drinkware that they do have. This one has the rubber base so it doesn't slide around. It says Universal Studios, $27, and here's a smaller version. Like, these are perfect if you're a coffee drinker. It has the handle and a medallion that says Universal Studios on it for $25. And then right next door is a whole section dedicated just to the Simpsons. Look at these slippers that they have of Homer Simpson. These are $27 a pair. You put your feet inside a Homer's mouth. Those are actually super duper soft. That's really cool. And then over here, there is so there's uh there is no such thing as a bad donut. So that's the big pink donut that you can get over in Simpsons Land. Very delicious. I highly suggest you check that out. That's $30 for that graphic t-shirt. You can even purchase a big like pillow of the Duff beer. These are $30 a piece. Everything is embroidered on the front though. And then right underneath there, they do have a hidden pocket for your cold beverage. It has an MP3 player or cell phone that you could put inside of this. Look at that. That's really creative. It has a little uh, metal bottle opener attached to a lanyard and it does zip closed. That is really unique. These are $65. I did want to show you two other really nice graphic t-shirts that they have. This one says Best Vacation Ever, Universal Studios. I love how it's like a photo that was taken. You got some popcorn, the big pink donut, and here's a nice blue colored one as well. This is the women's cut, $28.
I had such a fun time today hanging out here at Universal Studios Florida. The merchandise that they have is incredible. There is shopping all around the theme park towards the exits of the attractions. They have your brick and mortar standalone stores. We had some awesome character meet and greets. Hello Kitty, Scooby Doo, some characters there from the Minions. The list goes on and on. But if you are interested in any of the merchandise in today's video, definitely check out our Patreon page. The link to that is in the description box of this video but if you like today's video give it a big thumbs up and as always make today awesome